Good morning, everybody. Had the mic on mute there, but uh, this time we do the sound test to get the start, not uh, somewhere during the middle. Testing one, testing two. I like to punch bananas in the face. I don't like doing that on Monday. Punching bananas on Monday is incredibly stupid. You should never do it. Why would you ever even consider punching a banana? <coughs> on Monday. All right. Why, hello there, welcome back to EU4. Uh, today we're going to continue the gore. Once again, in case this is the first time you're watching on stream, the bronze medal for this uh, playthrough is to get the achievement Rise of the Rasputin Reich. The silver medal would be to do that and then make all of Germany Rasput culture. And the gold would be to make Nagur and Germany switch places, i.e. I own all of Germany and an AI Germany forms and the only province that they own is Nagur. Although for dramatic effect, we'll, well, we'll do that for the gold medal and then for dramatic effect feed them all of India because it will look, you know, you can actually, like you can't see the name Germany if they only own Nagur. I mean for the memes we'll do it, but I'll, I'll give them all of India afterwards. Anyway, we are uh, doing some sweet ass coalition juggling uh, practices. There's a lot of people that might want to join the coalition, but because we're uh, really good at the game, we can um, juggle them around. And there hasn't been a coalition in this game so far, uh, even though most of these people are sitting at negative 200 aggressive expansion. You can expect a video on how to do that soon. I'll be making a video on. How to deal with coalitions and aggressive expansion. Uh, as like a tutorial video, let me know if there's anything in specific you would like tutorials on. Right now I'm planning to do a tutorial on the following subjects. Aggressive expansion, how to deal with AE and coalitions. How to deal with rebellions, how to properly manage your estates. The grand philosophy behind a grand strategy in a world conquest. And much, much more. And if there's anything in the game that you'd really like to know, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on trade. Because there's uh, like 5 million of them out there and can't be fucked. Although I might do um, tutorials on certain opening strats that will work for many different nations like... Um, Taking over the Persian node at the start of the game. All you gotta do is kill some Shias, so you don't need to worry about coalitions, because there's really only four, five, six Shias. And uh, half of those are like full annexable and one more, so you can kill them and then nobody cares. The Sunnis won't care that much, so you can just easily kill them. Because uh, <clears throat> Timmy doesn't actually collect in the Persian trade node, all you need to do is kill Kata, Tab, and Shirvan. And you're done. You make almost all of the money in Persia, which is a really rich node. So stuff like that. Stuff like that's uh, what you should be looking out for. And now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Your cancelled run looked better at 1500. Well, it might have done, but the thing is, I am so much more powerful right now than I was back then. I could barely afford 32k. I was, uh, I had like 40 corruption and thousands upon thousands of ducats of debt. Not to mention the political situation is much more in my favor now, you know, I've got allies. I've got a nice vassal. Great power. Yeah, quite happy. We did conquer more of this in the cancelled run. But really, it's uh, this which, this is the stuff you want. Anyway though. Without further ado, let's uh, jump right into business and unpause. Also, I've got ideas now. I wouldn't uh, dare dream for ideas before. Yeah, I'm uh, feeling quite confident about this run so far. We need to win this war against uh, Gujarat within two years, because then we have to dial Baluchistan. Baluchistan is allied with Delhi, Delhi is allied with Bengal and Malwa. The plan here would be to declare war on Balochistan and uh, annul Delhi treaties with Bengal and Malwa. And then we have to go fight Bengal. Uh, truce with them ends 1517. But that's not good enough to form a coalition. 
So really, we have to hurry up here. We have to piece this out uh, by 15, 16. So that's going to be a tad difficult. But we are going to be grabbing the Wargle soon, so... Why did I take espionage ideas? Uh, Ayewe was like, hey! If you take espionage ideas first, man, I'm, uh, I'm gonna send you a cookie. So, uh, so we did. <laughs> also, hi Marvin, how you doing? <laughs> I saw what you wrote, I didn't see who you were. <laughs> 40 corruption, is this even possible? Yeah, you can go all the way to 100. I don't know if you can go higher than 100. I would assume so. I don't know if there's actually a limit to that. Also, SP Nice Ideas is actually quite good. No 10% advisor cost. Spy Network Construction plus 50%. Uh, that's actually really good, because... Um, spy Networks affect uh, siege, siege ability. Naguri, Spy Network, and Gujarat, negative 8%. And that is with uh, 42. Now it's 8.4. It's really good. So. You know, it... It might even be better. Than offensive ideas. In terms of sieges, I'm thinking about this now. Yeah, it's all really good, really. I mean, we kind of picked it like a troll pick, but it really isn't that bad. Okay, there's enemy soldiers that are moving into uh, Gerd. I am more than happy with that. Oh, but we should pay for our fort. Looks like they're wanting to siege up Bangle Cant. Take trade for the lulz. You know, if I would take trade, I'd also pick innovative, but really we want to sort of roleplay the whole uh, German Reich thing, so I kind of want to pick uh, offensive idea, uh, thingy ideas. Spy network construction is useful if you're playing as any country. So, uh, you know, it, it's not a bad idea group, we just never pick it. And, and it's 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 also built with Diplo points. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's really quite good. It also has some pretty badass policies. Goods produced, yearly corruption. And with religious ideas, you even get missionary strength. If we ever do a, a one faith run again, I'm certainly gonna be picking, uh, picking that. And the merchants are really upset that it's costing me a lot of money. But oh, well. 12k hours to realize espionage was great. Oh. You haven't seen the old espionage ideas. Espionage ideas uh, got a humongous buff in recent uh, recent patches. Because nobody ever picked it. And now it's uh, now it's got a right. They did a good job with the, the whole advisor cost reduction. That was very good. And... Um, before all the espionage, um, well, most of the espionage actions, most of the covert actions were uh, in the... Alright, that's quite unfortunate. Most of the covert actions were in the uh, thingy, in, uh, locked in the espionage idea group. And now you can unlock them by tech. And so they gave espionage ideas a whole bunch of different bonuses. Liberty Desire, also really useful. Negative 10% flat. That that can save you uh, quite a bit of prestige, you know. Yeah, we've got a force limit guy. I'd like to get a better guy, but really don't have one. And we're going to need to wait for these guys to arrive, because we can't hope to beat this without them. With those six guys coming. But you do have 26k now. I might need uh, more mercs.
Now, what is combat with like these days? It's 25. And we don't have any cannons in this army. Alright, so we're going to be invading straight into that. <clears throat> and then we're going to get reinforcements on the side. Now, depending on where Garja, it's going to go, because it seems like, okay, no, they just, I don't know. They, I saw them march into Bengal, but don't know what they're planning to do now. I'd like to sortie there, but doesn't seem to make a very big difference. For Pakung, thank you for subscribing for three months in a row. Tip my hat off to you. So. Now, Mercs, if they just spawn, don't start with full morale. They start with the 2.22 out of 4. So if you're in a situation like this, and you, you don't have to reinforce straight away, most of the time when you frantically build mercs, you do. But now I could afford to uh, let a month tick by so that they can get a little bit more morale. And then we'll send in these. <clears throat> now, lots of people want military access. I wonder why. Okay, this is very good. Oh, this is very nice for us. Uh, Timmy declared war on... Um, Bengal. I'm gonna give everybody access because I'd lo love these people to fight each other. It's very good. Flurry, do I like Skyrim? What a silly question. Of course I do. It's the, one of the best games I've ever played. Um, I've played a lot of Skyrim and a lot of Oblivion too. I used to do a lot of exploits in Oblivion. What I would do is I, uh, in Oblivion, if you level up, it would it would look at the, the skills that you used to level up. So what you could do is you could uh, find a way to level up that would give you the maximum amount of points in every category. But then you could only level up by three categories. So what you could do is you could, uh, I, I would do things like, stab a sheep that was immortal. There was an immortal sheep somewhere. And I would keep stabbing that sheep until I had 10 levels of freaking stab, stab skill. And then I would, uh, there was a, there was a, a table somewhere in a ship. And that table was reasonably high, high enough that you could stand on it and that you could jump. But you, because the ceiling was so close to your head, you could jump and then you would bounce back to the table really quickly. So all you'd have to do was like, press the space bar all the fucking time and then you would go like... <laughs> your guy would keep hitting his head and you'd get jumping skill really quickly. I, I, I like those games. And in Skyrim all I did was craft iron daggers all the fucking time until it was level 50. So stupid. Tragedy Zero, thank you for subscribing for 12 months in a row. Tip my hat off to you, sir. Play more games. I would play more games, but if I do play more different games, I would be playing um, strategy games, though. Like, I've tried doing other things, and well, people don't really, I don't know, appreciate it if I play different games. But I mean, I, I the strategy games, I'd I, I love to, to let's play, but... Um, you know, it, it's a bit hard for a completely different chamber. No, I'm by no means the expert. I mean, yes, hire me, Paradox, please. <laughs> but I do enjoy finding those things. I really do. It's so fun to... to figure stuff out like that. Oh, shit. This is not good, but I think we can piece out to uh, Garjat. Here. I didn't raise the maintenance on this floor, right? Yeah, but I was a... Uh, excuse me, I was a little bit late on that. That's a shame. It really is a shame. Now, we don't have a lot of time. Hold on, I need to... I didn't mean to throw it that hard, I just wanted it to land on my bed and it definitely hit the wall. I hope my phone's still alive. 
Admiral Master, thank you for subscribing. I tip my hat off to you, sir. I'm really worried about my phone right now. I seriously threw that thing a little bit too hard, and it definitely hit the wall. My bad. Okay, I'm gonna go check it, cut. Okay, it still works. <laughs> <laughs> it still works. It still very much works. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, God. <laughs> but it makes such an annoying sound, though. Like, whenever you get a... an... an... an um, a WhatsApp message or something, it, it just makes the most annoying sound. And you can't turn it off, because then I don't get any sound at all. And it's not even the sound. It's like, it's just for vibration but damn that thing makes a lot of noise Jesus fuck me man that thing makes a lot of noise so does Garget have anything that I'd like to take in particular they'd already want a piece out yeah I just want their money and they'd almost be willing to accept that I think after we siege this down, they'll be willing to accept that. Yeah. I wouldn't want anything else. My army did get caught out here, though. It's a bit sad. And we've got no leader. Less than ideal. I don't think we can reinforce this on time either. No, no, we should, we should not even try. We're grossly over the force limit though, and uh, Bengal seems to be more than willing to uh, deal with my rebels for me. Very nice. I don't know if this guy actually has access through uh, Godwanda still. Alright, so we got this siege down, we can move on to Marathwada. We could also just peace out, and we need to because it's almost, uh, it's almost October. So how about instead of doing this, we uh, spread out, get the last little pieces of war score, if we can get access through Bahmanis. Yeah, so we'll do this. Hopefully it'll go to low without me fighting that, because then we can piece him out and uh, figure out what to do here. So we only have a couple months and then we have to piece him out. So he's fighting this, that's fine. I'm not going to be bothering with him. He's killing my vassal, it's... Well, that did give him quite a bit of war score now, didn't it? Maybe I should have helped. At least so as to avoid the stack wave. Or I'm gonna need an extra siege. Yeah, I mean, you've already got it on 7%. When exactly was this true silver? Oh, we got a full year. We've got another 12 months. I thought it was May uh, 15, 16. But it's December. Oh. In that case, we've got plenty of time. Yeah, we're fine. I wish I had a siege general though. Is there a, Do I want to tech this up? No, I don't think so. I did spawn uh, colonialism, right? In Upper Dwab? Yeah, and it's spreading to Delhi, and then after it hits Delhi, it's gonna hit uh, Central Dwab, 
really fast as well. And we'll be, uh, we'll be just fine. How's Reich pronounced? Reich. Well, it depends on what part of Germany you're from. You should ask Marvin. He's in the, um, he's in the chat right now. Uh, there, I know some parts of Germany that will say Reich. Like the CH is pronounced differently whether you're from the north or the south, I think. But I am not that well versed in Germany, but I know that there's Germans that'll say ich instead of ich. When they when they say I, I is ich. And some Germans will say ich. And they'll say richtig instead of richtig. So, but there's, there, you know, there's... That's the same in every country, I suppose. There's different accents. I don't, I don't know of any German that says Reich, but maybe there are. I don't know. Hey, so I'd like to ask for this, but it does seem like there's a little bit too many people to get upset about that. Although, let's check because we are juggling this like a beast. So. Let's see here. This is... Reich is pretty much the same everywhere. Some Saxons make it to sh... Okay. Nobody really says Reich. Yeah, I figured. Figured, but didn't want to assume. Uh, Delhi. Yeah, Delhi is in the in the, the truce juggling. Mal was in the truce juggling. Is Mal in the truce juggling? Yeah, Mal was in the truce juggling. Mal was in the truce juggling. Gujarat's in the truce juggling. Timmy is part as one. Bengal's in the truce juggling. Uh, Baluchistan's in the truce juggling. Mawar is not in the truce truce juggling. Snaz, and it's Mawar would be two. Bahmanis. Uh, three and then Chakatai four. So no can do chief. So how many relations would I need with uh, Chakatai? Negative eleven. So I need plus eleven relations. Yes, and now we have Timmy, Mawar, and Bachmanis, and that's not enough. However... How about we do this instead? I can tell you why, too. This is going to allow me to fabricate a claim on Bachmanis. Bachmanis being this tiny OPM, or 2PM, that uh, wants to eat my face is really annoying. Because it adds one member to the coalition. And so I don't particularly want that. Can I take Chanda too? I can and there'd be no penalty for that. So I'm quite alright with this. Now I might want to release another vassal, but not for the fact that we've got too many diplomatic relations. So, uh, but yeah, this is fine. I'm a little bit afraid of how pissed off Vagina Guard is going to be. Because I do need them as an ally <coughs> for now. Also, this seems awfully stupid. How about instead of Kandash, we add Maratwada? Because I'm not going to leave him with that fort. And now we cut off all of Vajanigari's uh, thing. But there's no way for me to tell um, how he feels about this. Also, Xetix, thank you for subscribing for two months in a row with Twitch Prime. Tip my hat off to you, sir.
The CH sound is pronounced in German the same way as it is in, in the Netherlands most of the time. How pissed off are you now? Okay, he's not pissed off at all. Fantastic. So I need to fabricate a claim on Bachmaris. They're allied with me, Zor, and Jarkhead. That's perfect. If we could get the CB right now, that, that would be amazing. But we've got a stupid mission, so we can't do anything with that. Let's go take care of those rebels. You guys can t go take care of this rebel. Do I want to keep these forts? This one we might want to keep. It's a pretty good fort, but then again, it doesn't block off anything. So let's just get rid of both those. And we don't have the admin points to core any of this. No. I'm gonna put my focus back onto admin. Okay, so we have until December, then we have to declare war on uh, Baluchistan. We do have a CB, right? Yes. Uh, on Kota. But... I'm gonna go build up a spy network on him, because I... Uh... So it's like a K sound? No, it's a... Like... Eesh! And then in some parts of Germany, it's ish. But they don't do that with every word, it seems. So we can set a new rival. Um, we either have to rival Timmy or Bengal. Uh, we're gonna go to war with Bengal sooner, so I'll set Bengal as a rival. And immediately, I'd like to fabricate some new claims on Gujarat. Because uh, we've got the spy network for it. And I'd also like to build up a spy network on this guy. And then you, this guy can come home. I think we've got the... Uh, yeah, we've got a claim on whatever we can claim. Of course, now the situation might change. Because now I might want to wait... Until after Baluchistan, I mean, until after Delhi pieces out. Because if we fight Bengal now, Delhi might not be willing to join. That is risky, though. Like, it would be better to fight Baluchistan. And, you know what? It would be better to fight Baluchistan. Delhi doesn't want to join, then we can fight Delhi. Uh, ben I mean, then we fight Bengal, Delhi would not want to join, and then we can fight Delhi at the same time. That would be the ideal situation. Do we have a claim on Delhi? Yes, because we've got a CB on Sialkot. Tag Delhi, full annex release, so you don't have to core that land. Well, it's not like I've got dip points to spare, so... We'll see. Why can I ask for military points again? Okay. Hey, that's a bit unfortunate because I've got uh, cannons on the front line here. With a bit unfortunate, I mean that's really fucking sad. Because this is an expensive joke. Yeah, that's uh, 150 dockets. Expensive joke. Really not to key on all these rebels. That's what you get when you uh, disinherit your heir. Just like that. Okay, we are going to arrive on the 19th. I'd like these to arrive a day later. Two days later. 